Holy nuggets. It's a crazy world, Spencer. The whole What are you talking the about? The whole world is insane. It's insane. Everything's perfectly normal. Okay. Nothing's wrong. They're eating the That's pets. That's what I I've mean, heard. They're eating the pets. And I'm I am um, you know, of course, Ohio is not too far from where we are. It's a day's drive, right? I mean, it's less than a day's mm -hmm. drive if you're good. Mm -hmm. I honest to god, uh when I heard that, I did a spit take, like an honest to God. I had just taken the drink and they went <clears throat> everywhere, everywhere. And I'm like, Hey, I got a question yeah. for you. How long have you been a podcaster? Okay, good. Why? JD Vance running for vice president. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, good. Just yeah. Say whatever makes sense. <laughs> whatever makes sense. Some of that sprinkle stuff. He's not. <laughs> I know this is not our show is about, but I ha I've been meaning to, to say stuff about this for a little yeah. while. They're all really fucking dumb. I know. Spencer, here's what I'm starting to believe, and I'm not a conspiracy theorist person much, um, but I will say someone suggested that he is sabotaging his own campaign, that this is a concerted effort and basically, he's thinking, you know what? If I win the fuck, these people get what they deserve. Because <laughs> I have shown you how fucking awful I am. I have shown you the depths to which I will sink. I want him to fall off a cliff. <laughs> on his own. Yeah. On just, just, just pull a Tom and, and go, you know what? Fuck this. Take off his tie, set it on the back of a chair, and walk out a window. Did I say that? <laughs> no. I didn't In wish Minecraft. ill upon him. Okay, people. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and welcome to the Not At All Political Royal Highness Podcast, where we watch each episode of the Max Series Game of Thrones for the first time. While we're enhanced with cannabis products, then we talk about it while we're still enhanced with cannabis products. Hey, Spencer. Hello, Eileen. Why are you <sighs> far away when you do that? Well, we found out. Okay, so Mike sent us a, on our group chat, he sent us a um, picture of some product he had purchased that was called Royal Highness. <laughs> and I went, yay, yeah. they should sponsor us. So Royal Highness Cannabis products what it what was i don't remember michael reached out it was to just say the, hey the you should sponsor us because um i bet their shit's awesome so season eight episode four wow we are so close we are so close the last of the stacks mm -hmm. <sighs> okay yes indeed max tells us to entice us in and draw us in and give us that little in the wake of a costly victory John and Daenerys look to the south as Tyrion eyes a compromise that could save countless lives. Um, have we, hmm? in the course of the 78 episodes we've done prior to this one, have we seen a synopsis more or less just like this with different names? Yeah, yeah, all the time. Yeah, they like have like a word generator. A it's like a word cloud. They make a word cloud for that episode. And they noun go, and noun, verb in a direction. <sighs> As other noun <laughs> verbs, well, that's that why could our that's result in better. That's verb why our noun. um, uh, what was it? I don't remember what season it was where we played Mad Libs with the well, descriptions, out. and it worked out great. It so, sure did. Ah, oh, boy. So I I did something fun for the recap today. Yeah? I wrote the recap before I saw the recap. Oh, nice. So we'll, you we'll ready see for my version of the well, recap. Hang on a second. I was smart this time and I looked ahead to see how long it was. And it still took me almost the entire two hours to watch this show because it was an hour and 16 minutes long. I had to stop in the middle and make dinner. I had to stop twice in the middle to go enhance my enhancements. <laughs> if I had to give a description, I would say there's only two episodes after this. So if you want to know what all the hubbub is about when people are talking about how this is the worst season ever, you have to watch this one, too. So um, that's what I mean, this one wasn't bad, but I will tell you my recap. OK, they won. Ed died. Leanna died. Theon died. Jorah died. Beric died. Mel died. There you go. Cool. I'm typing this beforehand. I'm sure they put some stuff in there about what happened before the battle, but I don't care. <laughs> 
And sure enough, the recap was all about everything before the battle. Right. They didn't mention the battle at all. <laughs> well, the only thing that was from uh, the battle was when we see, see Leanna stick a dragon glass dagger through the eye of a zombie giant, which is a very yeah. cool sentence if you write it all out. It's pretty cool and, and visual as well. Yeah. I mean, it was bad. And we do see Jorah die. Um, yeah. And then and... the closed captioning says, somber music concludes. <laughs> For some reason, that tickled me. <laughs> yeah, they have to let you know when the music ends and how it mm -hmm. was. How was the music? Somber. Somber. How did it? Uh, uh, what did it do? It just. It just ended. It concluded. Uh, the <laughs> the the little animations. I don't think they're going to change this season because they are. They have not changed at all. Nothing's been added. Nothing's been you know taken away. We get the broken wall. We see last hearth, which nobody's gone to in a hot minute yeah. winterfell and you know the crypt and then back to the gyroscope which you guys call something else i never remember then to king's landing uh we see the spinny th stairs the iron throne it goes shing shing clang and that's the end of it so yeah it's not going to change if you know no, what I'd going forward it. if i see anything that i go oh wait a minute then i otherwise i'm not going to be we got yeah, two really episodes after right this, two, two. And then, of course, we'll have a season recap. And then, of course, we'll have a series recap Ooh. and talk about what the heck we're going to do now. <laughs> and for that series recap, special guest Henry Kissinger, mm. back from the dead, just talking. Henry. <laughs> That's a lie, of course. Eileen's got a Ouija board and she's to. not afraid to use it to bring back Harry Kissinger. Henry Kissinger. <laughs> I don't know who carries it. W H A T T H E F U. You know what? This isn't safe for children. <laughs> Maybe you should. Oh, shit. So we open up on corpses. Mike, are you drinking a weed soda? No. I'm not drinking a weed. I'm, I'm drinking a rock star. Punched. <laughs> I'm drinking water that I made in my soda stream. You your soda stream can fuse hydrogen and oxygen it, it together. Can. That's fucking tight. And then it adds some juju stuff and makes it sparkly. <laughs> you juju it up. I juju it. It's uh, fizzy water, as they say. Or what if you go to the England? They say, do they say still water and or fizzy water? Uh, or sparkling water, still water. I don't know. Soda water, soda water, or sparkling water. We get boots all the way up to Jorah's face. And sad Danny. Those are some long boots. Yeah. she was. It, it took a while to get up all the way up, Jorah. She whispers something that we can't hear, and we it was not in the closed captioning, unlike yeah, I wondered, background. I wondered yelling. what that was. You wanted to know what she said? I wanted to know what she said. Okay. It was probably, it's too bad you're dead. I'm still alive. Bye. <laughs> That's what you think she said? No, she's nicer than that Let me that think for him. a second. What could she have said to him? The birds won again today. <laughs> I'm going to take your boots before I set you on fire because those are really nice boots. And they're just hardly broken, so I'm going to I'm gonna take those. So I hope you're okay with that. Can I give this sword back to Sam? I feel bad about killing his dad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take the boots and the sword because I figure you don't need it anymore. So. Uh, can we stop whispering this sword? <laughs> Um, and then we see Sansa looking at Theon, who's on a pyre. Um, mm -hmm. Then we see fucking. Well, she gives him Bran. a Stark pin of some sort. <sighs> ah, Bran sucks. That, there was a lot of pyres, and then cut back to. Yeah, I was gonna do math, but I didn't bother. Uh, ultimately, I think it turned out to be somewhere in the seventy range, uh, but I don't think they were a singles. Uh, no, they were they were three layers high. They were three tiers. Yeah. Of uh, peoples, yeah. Um, the only thing that made the next scene okay was you know because again we see fucking brand and then we see ghost. It's like oh good boy, you make. Yeah, scene and then John, better. John gives a good speech, the sort of thing you might say at I don't know, like say Arlington, mm -hmm. instead of calling them suckers and losers. Everyone's so solemn, and then you can kind of see everybody who survived because we see Pod and we see Clegane and. Everyone with a name right. that right. wasn't mentioned in my recap. All of the branded, all of the branded, all of the named characters. Yeah, John Snow TM, mm -hmm. John <laughs> uh, Stark TM. Yeah, and all that, all the way. Through. John Snow TM and, uh, DBA. What's his next? What's his Targaryen name? Aegon Targaryen. Aegon 
Targaryen <laughs> LLC. DBA Esquire. Then they, they, everyone with the name again comes out of the crowd uh-huh. and lights a torch. And they have a torch. And, and I, uh, Arya's standing over the one eyed guy, right? Was it Arya? Yeah. Okay. Then somebody's got Ed to do, right? That was Sam. Okay. Sam was by Ed. Uh, John's by Leanna Marmont. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, she braver than most. So uh, here's where I put, oh, shit, these things are three tiers high. Then I thought, okay, I want you to picture what happened before this scene. A whole bunch of guys had to spend some time, A, gathering the wood, B, building the pallets, C, measuring everything so everything was precisely the same size and precise. Precisely the same you know, width apart from each other. You know damn well there's some asshole with a clipboard going, all right, so we're going to have all the named <laughs> characters towards the front of the pyre array. And everyone else is just gonna da, 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 da. all the way back. I got them labeled here on my chart. <laughs> I've chalked and out the lines Tormund, on the ground. <laughs> Tormund snapped that person in half. Oh, my God. Yeah. Because event planners. Here's my question. I just hit my head, elbow on that. That's... Instant karma for saying event planners are shit. But. There was some thick black smoke coming off them bodies. But yeah, it's a good thing they were upwind there. Whoa. Why did they have to burn them? Because then the, the White Walkers are all dead, so they can't. Why couldn't they just bury them? Because the ground is frozen. <laughs> yeah. Is it, though? I mean, okay. It's a warrior's Here's what I'm gonna say. It's a warrior's funeral. Here's what I'm going to say. Dragon got to eat. Dragon's got to eat. We've got all That's this. That's dark, Eileen. That's very dark. Well, I'm just saying you got to use what you got. I, I get you. I get you. It's still dark. <sighs> so we cut to the Great Hall. It's dinner time. They Did you notice they nicely transitioned between the three-tiered pyres and the three-layer candelabras in the dining hall in the next scene? Just saying. And they all had candles and they were burning. I was very proud of myself. <laughs> Eileen was very proud of noticing. I didn't notice that. She did director of cinematography, Eileen, A-C-E. Yes. It says in the credits. Yes. After the, the Kuleshov effect that I brought up a couple of weeks ago or last week or whatever, I guess it's only fair that you should snap back with okay. three-tiered pyres and three-tiered That's candelabras. That's the last so. like, thing like that I noticed. <laughs> the rest of it's kind of hazy, actually. <laughs> so basically, we've got the big celebration scene right it's quiet though initially <sighs> kind of i guess but <sighs> i we get a whole thing with gendry right yeah he gets up to chase after Arya. duh because <laughs> sandor thinks he's such a simp oh my he's God. thinking with his weenie <sighs> Which he is, but let's not give him a hard time about it. Right. So basically. She's a cutie, I guess. That's fair. How this ends. And I wrote it out ahead of time. I'm like, oh, is she going to make him lord of something? And then sure enough, she makes him lord of storms end. Yeah, that's the Baratheon yes. okay. homeland. Did we home ever area. go to storms end? Yes, we did. When? That, that was what, where, where Stannis the Manus set up camp. Is it? Or was that? I thought that was where Renly was stationed. Oh, uh, Mike's doing the finger. Point. That means you got it right. Ding, 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 ding. Except he pointed at the screen, which represents us both, and everybody's confused. Right. Somebody's right. One of those options is correct. Mm-hmm. Storm's End was in the show. Is all we need okay. to know about. Davos says a nice toast to him, and Tyrion's like, "Good job." So. It's where Remley was. Mike says it's where Remley was. There were so many looks in this episode. Just like glances and smirks and side eyes. And I'm just. But dude, you got to make six episodes that are an hour plus long. You got to fill them with a lot of blank stares at each other. Man, they so Jamie and Bree are. Oh, my God. Is this the one where they're. uh, No. Okay. I thought this was where they were playing the never have I ever. Right. Well, no, Jamie just sits out with Brie and pours her wine. Right. And she's and like, she's like eh, I don't want. And he's like, but you have to drink. We're all drinking. And then Davos talks with Tyrion about Melisandre's death. And he goes, he's like, it's a little pissed I didn't get to kill her myself. Yeah. It, 
then he's like, the Lord of Light can fuck off. <laughs> or no, the, the Lord of Light just, just does call this chaos and then just fucks the fuck off, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. I guess. I mean, he's right. It's a little bizarre. He's very selfish. And then Tyrion goes, hey, uh, you, you know what? You don't seem happy, but I, I'm going to make it worse by mentioning that while we killed all the deads, there's still us we got to deal with. It was like, oh, yeah. super. Then there's fucking Bran. <laughs> And Tyrion. Oh my God! This fucking kid. I like your wheelchair. Yes. I don't want to. I remember. <laughs> somebody made this for somebody else 120 years ago. I'm so excited. <laughs> Did you want to come up to my room and see my collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards? <laughs> I have several boxes full. All my friends like playing Yu-Gi-Oh with me. <laughs> Who wants to take a nap? Fucking Bran. Bran okay, the so then we get a uh, Davos. Was it? Who who gives the toast? I just shit my pants and I can't move <laughs> to clean myself up. Could you help me? Um, some the wine went straight through me. <laughs> Spencer. Yes, okay, hello. Hey, um. There's a cheerful toast. See. Is it Tormund who does it to the hero Winterfell? Who does it? Well, Tor- Tormund cheers the queen, and then the queen cheers Arya. Ah, oh, that's right. And then everyone goes, rah, rah, rah. and then there's more looks. Yeah. Where is Arya, is what I said right. at this point. And, and then you know that's Bree not her scene. And, yeah, Bree and, and uh, uh, Jamie and Tyrion, uh, Tyrion and, and Jam- Pod. Now they're playing the drinking yes, they're game. they're playing the Pod is there. Right. <sighs> This again, this scene could have been three seconds long. We would have got the gist of it and it would not have had to go on and on and on. There are some points to this. Yeah. I realize after the fact the cut back and forth between all of these little cl- these little clicks mm-hmm. and and the Tormin one is important because he's trashed and talking about John like he's a king mm-hmm. when in reality the queen is right yeah, there right. and she's all like, Hey, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Why aren't anyone talking to me like this? Now and the uh the 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 Lannister group, which is what I'm going to call them, that's important because Bree's apparently getting trashed. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Did you think <sighs> right about now? I said, "Here's what I put in my notes." Oh fuck! Is Cersei going to attack while they're celebrating? I hadn't thought of that. That's an interesting. Yeah, point. she never does. But she wasn't going <laughs> to. She doesn't. No. Basically, Varys sees that the folks there aren't going to follow Danny. Right, they want John to be king, even uh-huh. though John doesn't want to be king. He's like, no, I want her to be queen. I'm good with it. And he's like, oh, he's her uncle nephew, so nephew boyfriend, nephew uncle nep- uncle bo- nephew boyfriend. Okay, yeah, nephew boyfriend. And also, <sighs> he's watching her realize this shit, mm-hmm. and she gets up to leave, and he's like, ah. I should probably go with yeah, her. I should. Mm. Then we go back to what looks like. Okay, Mike, you remember Triple F, right? When we say Triple F, Tyrion's got that Triple F look in his eyes. <laughs> like, can we just get this done and get on with things? Because mm, I am not. Mm. Triple F uh, is a forced family fun, <laughs> ah. which is something we were subjected to a lot as children. And looking back on it, it was still horrible. Um, I, I I never liked doing family shit either. Okay, so then was it who was it Tyrion who outed Bree as a virgin? Well, that's fucking rude. Yeah. She didn't take it well. No, I must piss. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> she take just a piss. Stands up, and then Tormund's there, and all of a sudden he's waving his horn around, and um, he says the best line. Ever, which one of you cowered shit in my pants? <laughs> I wrote that in all caps because I loved it. And then, as Bree's walking out, Jamie stops Tormund from following and goes after her himself. And then, okay. Oh, that's sad for Tormund. Here's what I'm gonna say: Tormund steps up to Bree, and Bree is considerably taller, like half a head taller than Tormund. Yeah. Tormund. Standing next to Jamie, Jamie is a head shorter than Tormund. And yet yeah. later, when Jamie and Bri are standing across from one another, she is only slightly bigger than him. <laughs> so she either is wearing some gnarly kiss level platform boots. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and it's only when she takes her shoes off that she's the same height as Jamie. Or they fucked up the perspective big time here. Well, Gwendolyn Christie is like six three. Okay. 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 And I I can see. So I think what they did is they dug trenches in the set where her room was supposed to be. <laughs> so that- I was like, she is not bigger than Tormund. They have never played out that she's bigger than Tormund because Tormund isn't he half giant or is that Hodor? No, that's just what it, that's just his name. I don't know, but I, I thought he was always taller. Tormund, than- I, I think Tormund talks a big game, but he would. You know. Okay, Tormund's gonna anyway, get lucky. The- um, another girl's trying to get in Glane's pants, and he's like, no. he snarls at her. <laughs> Let me alone. Sansa goes to talk to him. This was an interesting conversation. It was a lot of backstory. And at first, okay, he goes. How did you get broken in? Yeah, yeah. Basically that she'd been sexually abused. And she's like, "Mm mm-hmm. But I took care of him. And he's like, how? And she goes, dogs. And I thought, who the fuck did she kill with dogs? Ramsey Ramsey? Walton. (laughs) Just like. And and, And Sandra just smiles. Yeah. You don't. You come a long way, little bird. Yeah. Did was she flirting with him? No, I think she was just indicating that she has respect. Oh no, no, no. She put her hand on his hand, and then when she stood up and looked at him, she licked her lips. Is that, mm-hmm. I like, didn't notice. Is she flirting. She's flirting with him. So anyway, I don't think so. <sighs> I, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have thought of that at all. But I think you might be weird. This is too raucous this next scene <laughs> <laughs> and i thought cersei's gonna um, attack at any minute because it was just this stupid going around the room watching people drink and snog and you know celebrate yeah the revelry is what i kept writing and then i we mean got, it's actually just gendry i don't want to talk about this scene because it's so sad for gendry <laughs> gendry was like he's like this sweet soul and he's in love with Arya. He goes looking for her, finds her in the crypt practicing archery. Was she in the crypt? Well, just outside in the courtyard. Oh, it felt like the crypt to me. Anyway. That's dark yeah. and cold. She's like, um, hey, I'm now Lord of Storm's End. Uh, so you should come marry me. And she's like, um, smoochy, smoochy, but no. You'll be great, but not for me. Yeah. Not a lady. I just wrote oof with about yeah. eight O's. <laughs> and I, I was getting ready to make a joke about how at the end of this episode, only one person died and it was Gendry. Uh, no, he didn't. Uh, no, one, you see him watch him die oh, inside. Oh, but you inside. <laughs> I'm like, he's not the only one to die in this episode. It's a, few, a few people. Well, no, but it, had it been that way, would have I would have made that joke, so, but it didn't work. So anyway, Bria apparently pissed so hard she changed her clothes and lit a yeah. fire. <laughs> And very quickly, and she took off the boots because there's a knock at her door, and it's Jamie, and they're almost the same height. Hot in here. Whoa, Jesus Christ! And she's like, "Yeah, that's what I do in the north. It's cold." And he's like, "Well, it's getting naked." Right? He's like, "Oh, sure is warm." And here, takes his coat off. I'm like, "Okay, I've seen this move. <laughs> I have seen this move." Does it work? Um. I guess it depends on who's taking the coat off. <laughs> Holy cats, it's warm in here. So can I have that loan? <laughs> unbutton, unbutton, unbutton. Uh, I... <sighs> I got a job interview tomorrow. I wonder if I should do it with my pants off. <laughs> no, no, you shouldn't. I'm just going to put this it's out there. Fo- it's a phone interview. I'm doing it Don't, in the nude. No. Oh, if the phone interview? It's the first oh, one. Go for it. <laughs> Be pantsless. <laughs> I'm. I support oh, this. What makes you interested in working for our company? Well, I don't like wearing Normally, pants. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> in fact, I'm not wearing anything at all right now. Just the smile. Oh, my God. And an earbud. How? So, I dare you do I to do up? your interview tomorrow in the nude. <laughs> Here's the thing. I, I, I am a never nude. So that ain't happening. Is that supposed to a nudist? You're like, I don't even want to see. I see like I shower in a bathing suit. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, I, I bathe nude, and, and of course, I do the sexy time in as little clothing as possible. When and if that occurs. <laughs> My, okay, hang on. <laughs> as little clothing as possible means that there is some clothing involved. 
So I'm is it and sock on, on pant leg hanging off? I, I didn't get it off, you know. Mm. T shirt around one shoulder, whatever. <laughs> anyway, the the thing is That's though, generally speaking, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I always got clothes shoulder. on. Oh man. Always. In fact, you know, it's been hot as balls lately in like the last three mm-hmm. days. And I've seriously considered just walking around the house in my underpants, mm-hmm. but there's other people here. Yeah, but aren't I don't want during the school day, aren't they them. in school? Not always. No. I mean, the the old adult kids usually work in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm like, what if they walk out of their bedrooms and see this terrible walrus <laughs> fucking hanging out? In his me undies. I mean, <laughs> his boxer briefs. That guy would come out of their bedrooms and turn, and it's like one-eyed, toothless albino walrus <laughs> sitting on my lap. One-eyed. <laughs> it's my stomach. Oh. <laughs> Hanging on my desk. Hello, everybody. Okay. My name's Back Bob. to the episode. Back to, back to, game. Back to game of Thrones. So, basic. Oh, here's what I thought was going to happen. He's assuming she wants him. Jamie. Jamie comes in. Uh, we assume she's not interested because she's never shown any interest in anybody, really. Well, or in Renly. She stands up for him more than a few times. Mm, and Renly. So there's at least a she had a crush yeah. on Renly or whatever it was. Yeah, but she knew she was never going to get any business with Renly because Renly was gay and she was fine with that. Mm-hmm. She just loved him like completely right you know so my thought was she's gonna stop him and kind of be like you just think you're all that and a bag of they wouldn't have chips but would they eat fried marmot snouts fried potato wedges (laughs) (laughs) they have potatoes do you think they make potato chips i'm sure it's not a stretch to assume that someone has cut up a potato and fried it in beef tallow are you gonna tell me they don't have cows in westeros (laughs) Have you seen a cow in Westeros? I've seen oxen. No. Eh, close enough. Anyway. Maybe bison would work. Ow. Deer. We just deer, need, deer this fat. is a long ass episode. We need to stay focused. Stay focused. Oh, don't worry. We'll end up skipping some shit because um, it's but, 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 uh, I said, oh, fuck. No, this is happening. No, this is gross. No. Then we cut to John <laughs> looking pensive. I guess that's how we're skipping yeah. that. Because this, uh, I would like to say one other thing is it almost seemed clinical. Okay, your shirt's off. Mm-hmm. And now your shirt's mm-hmm. off. And oh, now you start complaining and I'm going to interrupt it. And then we move. How do you have sex? Because <laughs> that sounds about right to me. It's usually not. Oh, you took your shirt off. That must step, mean step. I can take my shirt off. <laughs> oh, so I should get the Monopoly board out then, huh? Did you want the top hat? <laughs> Oh, I always want the dog. So, so John is chilling while they're fucking, and Danny walks in. And this conversation just fucking irritated. I didn't me. write a damn thing down. He tries. Contro- they start he making tries out, consoling and her she's like, about Jora. Right? I didn't know him, mm-hmm. but he died doing what he loved, protecting the fuck out of you. So yeah. And she's like, yeah, he really liked me, but like, I didn't like him that way. So. You know, he'd sent for me. Like, and for me. He killed a bunch of guys for me. I mean, seriously, I wish I could love him. I wish I could. Have. I don't remember her being a valley girl. Shh. Like, OMG. <laughs> she's, she had watched all these dudes hanging around him in the party. And she's like, I'm just sitting in the corner drinking my. She's like, you can't tell she me was jealous. that you're really a Targaryen. Because that would be really super bad for me. And he's like, don't worry about it, babe. I'm good. I'm fine with it. I don't want to be the For king. No. You can be the queen. You can be my queen. We'll be fan fucking tastic. We can live together. Yeah. And she goes, I just told you how we can. Right. In like this way that like she's such a she doesn't bad she, lady. Yeah, she's getting a little cuckoo for Coco Puffs. Just yeah. saying she's losing it a little. She used to have a lot more self control, I think. She's, yeah, well, and she doesn't want him happens. to tell Arya or Sansa that he's a Targaryen, right? We have to. The family. <sighs> She's so fucking selfish, and he's such a sap. <sighs> yeah. Cut to Bree and Jamie waking up together. Ew. Well, no, he wakes up. She's asleep. Mm-hmm. He fucked her to sleep, which probably didn't take long. <laughs> 
They just had a big battle. Everyone's tired. Everybody is tired. And they've been drinking. We know how that goes. And also, she's she's never done the sexy time. Right. So. Is this good? Is it? I don't. Is it good? (laughs) Why are you crying? (laughs) Oh, shit. Then we, uh, then uh, we're at the big map table, right? Hmm. Half the Unsullied and the Northmen are gone. Everybody's lost dudes. And now Cersei has this gold, the gold, what are they? The gold company? The golden company. Oh, I got it right. Yay. Under the urinator. Yeah. So basically, they're evenly numbered, right? They've got as many dudes yeah. as they've got. But they have two dragons. Tyr- yeah. And Tyrion seems to think that Cersei will be rejected by the people of King's Landing because she's a monster. So they plan to siege the city. Mm-hmm. And then Sansa goes, hey, can we wait a minute? <laughs> <laughs> we just had a fucking war. Uh-huh. Can we let these and guys Danny take goes, a long rest so they get all their hit points back? No? Fuck. At least eight hours. Come Anybody on. Anybody got and a healing Danny's potion? Like, healing uh, potion to get me uh, uh, half, a, half a heart. Excuse me? You think you're going to take a break? Well, guess what, chum? I came here with my dragons and lost half my men, and now we're ready to go, so you should be ready to go, too. Mm -hmm. Because I want to sit on the magic throne that makes me the real queen. (laughs) I want to be on the pokey chair. And um, John finally disarms the situation by agreeing with Sansa and pissing off his sisters. Who give each other (laughs) a look. I'm thinking this is lazy cinematography. Oh my god. Danny's being so megalomaniacal though. It's really unfortunate. So Tyrion says that John and the others. Now I thought that he meant the wildlings and shit, but no, are gonna go north. Well, we find that out later. And the but, others um, will go to Dragonstone? Uh I'm so confused. I think so. Though no, I thought it was White Harbor. They're going to White Harbor. To set up, oh. and then they would make for Dragonstone. Eh, who cares? Okay. Anyway, ultimately they end up going outside and having this having a sibling rumble. For a second, I didn't see Bran. <laughs> I was like, I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Oh, Arya and Sansa want a word with with John," and then I went, "Oh, and fucking Bran." <laughs> I'm here too. Legs akimbo, fucking Bran. I have things to say, but I'm not oh saying anything. God. Can I let John do all the talking? This is the only time Bran hasn't sucked. Right. He's like, because you're co- it's your choice. Basically, <laughs> they're saying, look, you're our brother. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> they're like, we didn't know we have a brother. And okay, but I have to tell you something, but you have to triple stamp, swear, cross your heart, eye in the finger. Yeah, you have to swear before I tell you. Uh, how are we supposed to swear if we don't even know why? Right. Do it. Right? No. Like, oh my God, you're 12. You're all 12. He fucking tells them. No, he doesn't. Bran does. <laughs> oh, right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he gets done and John goes, you tell him. Okay. And then all I could cuts think- away. And I'm like, you're fucking kidding me. All I could think in this scene, just the way they were standing and what they were wearing. I said, this is the worst Narnia book ever. <laughs> They all look like I was a waiting for James Narnia McAvoy kid. with his legs on backwards to come walking out of the forest. Right. Oh my god. Anyway, later on, Jamie and Tyrion are talking about Bree. That's gross. I didn't like it. I didn't like this conversation at all. It was nice. It was nice for a minute because he's like, I'm happy you're happy. So what's it like? Oh my god. Oh my god. Right. Dude. And then Bron comes. He says, in. Hey, I knew you were fucking her. And I'm like, how did Bron know? Was he watching? Because he just knows. And then he called them gold-plated cunts. Uh-huh. And then I stopped typing because this is a bronze scene. And I love bronze. Yes. But what it comes down to is, A, he punches Tyrion in the face. Because Tyrion says, you won't punch me in the nose. So he does. And he did. And two, in order to prevent them from being killed, Tyrion has to guarantee that Bronn will be Lord of Highgarden mm-hmm. after the war is over. Yep. And then he just leaves. Yeah. So basically, Cersei sent him down there to kill them. He's like, mm, I think I can get a better deal. And that's what he did. Yeah. He got High Garden, High Garden, which is apparently double river run. Because <laughs> Tyrion said, whatever somebody pays you to kill me, I'll pay you double. So double. Let's put it this way. River run is like a light blue. Mm-hmm. And um, High Garden is like an orange. What does that? Does that mean? Anything? Monopoly properties. <laughs> oh. 
You fucks. Gotcha, Monopoly. Again, it came right back yeah. around to Monopoly. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. <sighs> I could make a Monopoly board with all the places we've been. Like the Brown would be Flea Bottom. Right. And and Craster's Keep. Mm. And then you can go all the way around. Then we get another. I bet you someone's already done that. Clegane's riding a horse eating beef jerky. Like you like do. Like you do. And Arya catches up to him, and they are riding the most terrifyingly large horses I have ever seen. Well, he's on a big steed because he's a big man. She's on a big steed, too. Just because. (laughs) He's basically jealous that uh, she got to kill the, the White Walker. So they're both going to King's Landing. Yes. And neither of them plan to come back. Okay. Yeah, they have unfinished business. Also, I just want to point out, there is indeed... A Game of Thrones Monopoly edition. <gasps> I think I think that's going to have to be our series finale. I'm going to have to order that from the, the zone of Amma. All right. Hey, Jeff, hook us up. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. <laughs> Jeffy B's, you know, oh. we go way back. I've been buying stuff from him. For a long I know, time. sadly. My allergy medicine. <laughs> Sansa's watching the dragons and she's like, how come she gets all the cool shit? She gets John, she gets the dragons. Then we have a really nice back and forth with Sansa and Tyrion. Well, it's not really nice. Um, uh, it's not really it's nice. Not nice? And I, not initially. And then it, it gets better mm-hmm. when he starts leaving and she goes, hey, hold on a minute. Mm-hmm. What if there's a better option than John regarding or who, Danny? The, who, who's the leader? No, it's than Danny. Oh, and of course, is Sansa in love with John? No, Are you sure? brother and sister. They're yes. not brother and sister. They know now that they're not brother and sister. They're not in love. Okay, no, I think she's <sighs> weird. Yeah. That's John it. and Tormund are talking, <laughs> and John, Tormund's going to take his wildlings and fuck off. And John, and John's like, "Hey, as long as you're going to the, you know, where there's room to run, do you mind taking Ghost with you?" Oh, and so two of them, two good ones, <gasps> Tormund and Ghost, in the same move. While, Man, that's rough. And while they're talking in the background, Sam and Gilly <laughs> are walking up behind him. Yeah, and John and Tormund. John gives. Gilly a hug? Well, first, uh, John and Tormund oh. hug, and they do the one slap bro hug. Then he hugs Gilly. She's Pergante with Sam Zabibbe. They're per- per- pergnant? Pra- pra- yep. Pergnant? <sighs> oh. And if there's a boy, they're going to name and it John. Sam's like, yeah. well, you know, I start many books to read in the Citadel, and I got the nights get kind of cold. And they're basically like, yeah, yeah, we know about the pee pee in the hoo. Yeah, Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> we know about the Willy and the Gilly. You don't need to tell us anymore. Oh, Willie and Gilly! Yes! And then, yeah, if it's a boy, we want to name him John. He's like, I hope it's a girl. Uh, Oh, shit. It got a little bit dusty because they both wept a little. Yeah. Uh, You kind of, you know, you're the best friend I've ever had. Uh. This was so after school special. I was just yeah, but over it. He kind of felt that. It was good. I was, I it was then we go to the He's Unsullied a, on a Ship. You're a curmudgeon. Know. You know that? <laughs> Finally, I am the curmudgeon. I got a little bit of heart here. I'm like, oh, it's touching. Yeah. And you're like, God, shut up. What do we see? Tips. <laughs> this episode could have been so much shorter is all I'm saying. It could have been 40 minutes. It could have been 10 minutes. Let's be honest. We could have seen the important part. <sighs> Jamie. Fucking Brie. Have we for 10 minutes. seen <laughs> Grey Worm smile before? No, I had made a note of that. I'm oh, like, oh, he's smiling. Okay. Isn't that nice? Because she smiled. I mean, I think he did smile briefly when they were exchanging jokes in Marine yeah. that one day that. I don't think he did because like, was Tyrion's joke. like, do you not laugh at anything? <laughs> I think he might have he cracked a little smile towards the end of that. Okay. But this time he was happy because he was holding hands with his special lady yeah, friend. Yeah, that was. Uh, Anywho. I suppose we're, that's supposed to cement what happens later on about how they're so close because she held his hand and he smiled. Well, it, <laughs> you do remember that the Unsullied, for fun, would go to women of ill repute mm-hmm. and just lay in their mm-hmm. laps. Well, what else are they going to do? That was all they did. I mean, yeah, well, there's 
ways, I'm sure. But not for but them. Still. They're just getting what they need. That's fine. Varys and Tyrion human compassion. are talking about yeah. how many know about John being a Targaryen, right? Is that what they're eight. talking about? Eight people. It's eight now. people. Yeah. But he's got a better claim to the throne, and mm-hmm. they love each other, and... Then I said, worrying about her state of mind is their job. I'm going to be honest here. Here's where I started rushing because <laughs> I realized I still had. My notes got shorter and shorter too. After I realized this too. I really, really have to, you know, watch this and be done before we record. And so I was just freaking the fuck out. Um, they do mention the idea that they should get married and then rule together also. Yeah. But, and then at the end, Tyrion goes, maybe. I'm wrong. Maybe we'll get to King's Landing and, and Cersei will kill us all. And That'll solve all yep. of our problems. Like, wow, that's a coward's way out. Next scene, not too thrilled with it. Starts with the dragons flying and then with one dragon dying with the big harpoons. Mm, yeah. Like a whole bunch of big ass harpoons. A whole Can I just bunch say, of scorpions. They built those fuckers really fast. They built how many for how many ships? And then they put them all up on the walls, right? They had a, like a three-tier oh. rack of, of the harpoons or something. It was crazy shit. Again, you have to remember that time means nothing. That's true. Because we go from one scene where they're they're talking about leaving, and the next scene, they're fucking there. Yeah. yeah. Time <laughs> means what happened? nothing. <laughs> The dragon gets anyway. stabby stabbed a lot and then goes into the ocean. That was brutal. That was pretty bad. That dragon got fucked up. The CGI guys were like, woo, now only one dragon. <laughs> now we all oh have my to God. one. You turn half the servers off, Gary. Holy shit. Uh, sea battle. Those spears. Well, no. Not only- this wasn't a sea battle. This was a sea punch the shit out of yeah. somebody. And those spears blew yes. up. They more than a few they shots. did because when they hit the wood they, it just went boom so did you think it was adorable when Tyrion jumped overboard i said why would you do that <laughs> why would you do- I, it was kind of cute when he did it though because <laughs> he, he put his arms up which is like this yes and he just went hip, <laughs> hip. <sighs> big jump oh I don't like to make fun of Peter Dinklage because I think he's incredible. I do too. I think he's one of the best actors on this entire series and other thing, the, everything he does is fantastic. He's just a great actor. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a very funny man. I don't, you know, his his stature is of minimal importance. Right. It only serves, well, in this case, it serves part of the story, but whatever. But he jumped up. When he jumped off that ship, he went, look. And then, was- then he came up out of the water and got thumped on the head with the mast of the ship. That was rough. Also, I heard a Wilhelm scream during all did of this. You? I didn't hear one. I did. Oh. Uh, you go back and listen to that scene. I'm pretty sure I <laughs> heard one. <laughs> I'm not good at it because I am not. A bunch of dudes Private Wilhelm. are dragging themselves up onto the shore. Tyrion is still alive. Come on. <laughs> of course he is. All, all the named characters are still there. Varys is still alive. But Missy's missing. Grey Worm's there and he's looking for Missy. He can't find her. I, how the fuck? Varys, who has got his hands in a muff 80% of the show, somehow managed to swim back to shore after being in a boat that was speared to death. And he's like, hey, it doesn't matter. I can swim <laughs> despite my lack of genitals. Watch me go. And he's <laughs> Look at those backstrokes. Stop it. Um, He had a scuba mask. Cersei <laughs> tells Euron that she's carrying his baby, which is a, which Lies. is a lie. You were absolutely right. She's using that unborn child as a reason to keep Euron on ta- board. Ta- 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 told you. I forgot and that I predicted that, Sunday. but yay me! <laughs> I remember that you did. You're like, I wonder if she's gonna say that he, the baby is his. Okay, there is no but way. Yeah. I'm only on. Oh God! Thank God. So there's no way no, I thought this I was is still what on I've page got. three of my notes and I was going to 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 absolutely die because I have nine pages. According to this, according to what I have written here, we have four scenes left. OK. And uh, the next one is them exposing that Missy's captive. Mm-hmm. 
break her chains, huh? And there she is in chains. That's fucking hilarious, Cersei. You're wow. You're just a regular Mitch Hedberg. The, you genius. The <sighs> Varys figured out Cersei's plan, right? And he's like, she, uh, she doesn't want you to just. Well, no, because he's he says that attacking King's Landing is a mistake, right? After their ambush, right? And she says, "Do you believe we're here for a reason?" She thinks it's her destiny to save the world from tyrants. And I wrote, "Wait, isn't she a tyrant?" Kind of. <laughs> yeah, right now. Yeah, yes. do not destroy the city you came to save. Right. Tyrion suggests demanding a surrender. Right. And she's like, "Oh, they will get sur- surrender or blood and fire right now to fend them all evil now." <laughs> And then Varys and Tyrion just go, oh, bro, we're fucked. And then they go out to the pokey seat and have a chat about how fucked they are. Right. <laughs> <sighs> and basically go, hey, should we treason or yeah. not? And when he says something, I thoughts are treason? treason. Isn't that what he says? Yeah, talking out loud is a treason, yeah. but thinking isn't treason. Well, I don't know about All that. I... That sounds like a very Catholic response to this problem. The only thing I wrote was cocks are important <laughs> yeah is... and then what happens if we treason against her and and Tyrion for some reason just goes don't please and i'm like what is that Varys, what is that Varys is saying she needs to die so that john can be the true ruler right without her yeah. playing him like a fiddle because he's a simp for her, right so yeah she, then Tyrion's like no please don't don't kill her because he knows you know every time Varys has sent somebody to kill somebody that person be dead so Mm -hmm. um wow then we go to breaking rocks at the ren fair that's fun um oh goodness there's some lovely filth down here (laughs) there is hilarious background text i didn't write it down but i was laughing forever over here is that the last one another cart i don't remember hold on a second these are my parents what the fuck Put down that rutabaga and get to work. <laughs> have you ever had a rutabaga? I believe I have. As a matter of fact, had it as part of my wife's delicious winter root stew. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We grew up. Oh, God, it's so good. Like parsnips and turnips and rutabaga and potatoes. We grew up thinking that. And I hate vegetables, but that's fucking good. Rutabagas were turnips. We were They called them turnips. But turnips well, are white. Are... And rutabagas are mm-hmm. orange. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Welcome to Rutabaga Talk, here on iHeartRadio. Hi. How you doing? My name's Janice Potato. It's a coincidence. (laughs) Well, it would be, because rutabagas aren't potatoes. And we're going to talk about root vegetables for the next 45 minutes. And get a couple of specialists coming on board to explain how to get the best sort of hickama. I wonder, can you clean the wax off before you look at it? <laughs> <sighs> should we should do a show where we just parody podcasts that aren't real. There's already, there's already was- a podcast that does that. Yeah, I know. It's uh, it's uh, that's Brady Heron's podcast. Isn't it? I don't remember what it's called. Um, Un- it's the same people who do the Beef and Dairy Network podcast. Oh, yeah, okay. it's a good. It, I haven't listened to it yet. It's on my list of things to listen to. But we see Jamie. All right, back on board at the end of the bed. At the end of um, wait, what you forgot to mention yes? that Bree is outside talking to Santa, mm-hmm. and Jamie walks up. And they explain the ambush. And then he's sitting on the end of the okay. bed, thinking. I thought this the scene with Jamie coming across Sansa Umbry was entirely unnecessary and dumb, so I didn't write anything. It was important because it gave him a reason to you do what he what does anyway. right now, which is leave. Jamie's in the coolest jacket, though. I want that jacket. I'm sure I can I buy know, something it's a nice similar jacket. at the Ren Fair. Well, they're selling all the props from Game of Thrones at this point, so you can probably, if you want to drop seven grand, you can buy the the, the bell, the shame bell. There is no way that that jacket would fit me. <laughs> I would have to bind the tatas to no end for that to 
So you spend uh, X amount of dollars on the thing, mm -hmm. on the jacket, mm -hmm. and then, um, so it's an X amount of dollars plus five bucks for some duct tape. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> hey, worth every penny. So basically, Jamie fucks off without waking up Bree, and I'm and he's and he's getting his horse ready. This is so fucking rude. This is the guy sneaking out the door yeah. and tr and and like rolling his car down the driveway <laughs> so you don't hear him started in the driveway. Uh, and she's like, "You stay here with yeah. me, please. Jesus. Don't go." And he's like, "I would have done all this horrible shit for Cersei," mm -hmm. and uh, she's hateful. Mm -hmm. So am I, and so am I. And then he leaves, and she's ugly crying. She's like, whoa. broken. Fuck yeah, him. that was rough. Eight ways to sideways. That's what I'm going to say. That's not the um, same. That was a, that was a, it's eight ways to Sunday. Eight ways to sideways is good, though. <laughs> I'm going to say it like that from now on. That's just the way the cookie bounces. Then you got another preparing for battle scene. You know, in this corner, we has the guys and Tyrion and Danny and all them folks. And in this corner, Cersei and the assholes. Which is my new cover band. Cersei and the Assholes? Yeah, we do um, whole songs <laughs> exclusively. <laughs> um, um, I thought you were going to say Katarina and the Waves, but it's just that one they song. They have a lot of those harpoon things. Fuck. Oh, yeah. And a lot of archers. Yeah. And with, with if you you want a good laugh, you have a look at the forces that they brought for this little palaver, which is 40 guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, hmm. That's not a whole lot. They they saw the big expanse outside the castle and the little square dudes. <laughs> Thought, mm. yeah, we'll have y'all head. Cersei is looking no, spectacularly like the dominatrix of the Ren Fair. In her epaulets, she had epaulets. She had gauntlets, I believe, and chains. It was quite lovely. Um, and mm -hmm. the weird old dude is going out to talk to Tyrion, and that's. And it took them 60 oh hours to walk to meet each other. I wrote, we have to watch them walk the entire way. Kyburn is two and a half Tyrion Yes, salt, he is. Right? So he's going, swoop, swoop, swoop. Big strides and Tyrion's going. <laughs> and they meet and they go, hey, surrender now. And then the other one goes, hey, surrender now. Well, shucks, I guess we're at an impasse. And Kyber, then Kyburn starts. Kyburn goes, "Where are you, Steve? Fuck you!" <laughs> it's like, "Well, fuck you!" <laughs> and walks past him. Uh, walks to shout up at Cersei. Yeah, he's like, "I'm not even going to listen to your shit anymore." Hand. There was a lot of arrows he, trained on that one little dude. I thought that was a bit overkill. Yeah. And I thought, will she give the order to kill him? Nope. And well, she had her hand up. And Euron says, "To fuck." Tyrion's like, "Look, everybody hates you." <laughs> You hate everybody. You're not a monster. You loved your kids, even though one of them was an asshole. Surrender, and you and the baby can live on. Does Tyrion, do we know that Tyrion knows she's pregnant? Yeah. Okay. He he figured it out the last time they met at the dragon pit. Here's my question. Tyrion's at the bottom of the, of the castle, yelling up at her, I am King Arthur. <laughs> I seek the Holy Grail. Oh, we've already got one. Can Danny really hear them? She's so far behind them. Well, no one's talking. Yes, they are. Tyrion starts talking to Cersei. No, no, no. I meant no one else. It's very quiet. I'm sorry. Have you ever been outside in the desert? <laughs> it's noisier than no, you would I've expect. No, I've never been in the desert. And there's no, th there's nothing for the sound to bounce out off of. And anyway, physics. I wager there's no traffic. Fun for kids. Also, there is a wall for mm -hmm. all of what Tyrion says to bounce all off right. of. There's no way Cersei's going to give in. She's going to kill Missy. I thought she was just going to throw her over the side of the castle. I did. Too. And she's like, do you oh, have any, any last words? And I thought Missy was going to jump and take that satisfaction away from her. And I'm sitting there going, do it, do it, do it. No, it was worse. Um, her last word was Dracaris, Basically, just burn it all the fuck down. Which Danny must have heard because the look on her face indicated she was fixing to burn it all to the mm -hmm. ground. Or she smelled something really bad. Because <sighs> as she was walking back, she's just like, ah, that Pepto-Bismol again. That's it? the worst taste in my mouth. Ah. The whole 
episodes with Cersei just giving the stink eye. What the fuck? Yeah. It was a stink eye episode. Then I said, that, finally, this... credits. <laughs> that was exhausting. Mike asks, why, why did Cersei just let them walk away? They had all those big arrow things, could have taken out the dragon and Danny and those two platoons right. with no problem. Absolutely. Well, because, because, and I'm going to say this making assumptions, but I think it's a fair one. There are two episodes left in this season. That is the only reason why she didn't kill them right then and there is because they have to make two hours and 40 minutes of this. <sighs> I mean, I could see why people started getting frustrated with this season because it's like, this doesn't have to be so it doesn't. long. It really if, doesn't. If there was, if there was more. It could have been a made for more, TV movie or mini series. It like could have been more dense. episode, two hours each. You don't do yeah, this. It could, don't put us through this. The problem is there's a lot of filler. It's stretching out oh, well. what isn't interesting enough to stretch yeah. out. Hey. And by the end of it, we're going to be watching Pod lace up his armor <laughs> and then mistie it and have to undo it. <laughs> And then do it again, and it's like, well, watch 35 minutes of pod tying a knot. Are you fucking kidding Mike, me? did we miss anything? You can only nod or shake your head. Like, how would you? I guess it you could type it in the chat if, if we miss something. Thank you so much for listening. I can't believe we only have two more episodes. And then, like I said, we'll do a season finale, and we'll do a series finale, which I think would be a lot of fun to just to do a YouTube video of us playing the Game of Thrones Monopoly version all in the same room. That's a, I think that's a brilliant um, idea. Uh, let us know if you listen. That would be great. Well, and there's and parodies, Mike says. That's a yeah, good point. Yeah, and the parodies, yes. We have some parodies. Um, you can email us at royalhighnesspod at gmail.com. You can message us on Facebook or Buzzsprout. I want to thank our producer, Mike. Thanks, Mike. And the fine folks over. He waved. He waved. Yeah. And the fine folks over at Injured Nerves Productions. We can't wait to do it all again next week. But until then, love you, bye. Bye. Royal Highness is produced by Injured Nerves Productions and is available on all major podcast platforms. The opinions and comments expressed here are those of the hosts and their guests and are not affiliated in any way with HBO or the Game of Thrones series. If you want to contact us, you can do so at royalhighnesspod at gmail.com. Thanks for listening, we hope you come back to listen again. Listen again.